three harsh realities of being a real estate investor or agent. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and it does not matter how much education you have, it does not matter how much you know how to fill out a contract, how does your business card look, do you have an LLC or S-Corp, um, how, how do you look like? None of that stuff matters if you don't have these three things. These these are the hardest things um, that most real estate investors and real estate agents don't re recognize. So let's let's dive in. Okay, number one, leads, leads, leads. It doesn't matter if you're a fix and flipper, if you want to be a wholesaler, you want to be a landlord, you're a real estate agent. If you don't have leads, you're just not going to survive. You're just not going to survive. I don't know how to explain it, ladies and gentlemen. Leads is the blood for your body. So the way blood works for your body, that's how leads work for your business. And if you don't have leads, then you don't have blood or you don't have nutrients being fed into your muscles and, and organs. Now, majority of investors, real estate investors, majority of real estate agents, they put the leads at the very, very end. For example, a real estate agent will go to school, get their license, fill out their fingerprint, they'll get their business cards, blah, blah, get their broker, and then end of the day, they start realizing, oh, oh I gotta generate leads. Same thing with a real estate investor. They'll go to seminars, they'll go to boot camps, set up a website, set, get their shares, get their domains, sell their LLCs, S Corp, whatever it is. After spending thousands of dollars in education and setting up um, business frame, then they realize that uh oh no one's knocking on their door so that's one of the very harshest realities for real estate investors and agents once they graduate to the point of doing business there's no business to be done right now the second harshest reality as a real estate investor as a real estate agent or anyone that's a dream chaser or entrepreneur is pay attention to this it's very, very important. Everyone's gonna tell you no, no, no. And no has to become your best friend. Not because in a sense that you're okay with no. No, not that kind of best friend. The kind of best friend that says, look, dude, you're not good enough and that's why this is a no. You have to improve your pitch. You have to improve your sales. You have to improve your negotiation. You have to improve your listing presentation. You have to improve whatever because in being a real estate investor being a real estate wholesaler buying houses subject to whatever you're gonna hear a lot of no's no's and most agents most investors they don't really think about how much rejection they're gonna get again they, they go to school if they're gonna be a real estate agent they get their license, they get a brokerage firm, they spend all this money paying HOA, not HOA, uh, uh, liability insurance and so much, all this stuff. And then they're like, uh oh, they call a couple of people and people tell them no, and it breaks their heart. And to most entrepreneurs, no, or successful entrepreneurs, I should say, no does not mean no. No is the, is the starting point of getting the deal. Okay. As an investor, I expect that nine out of 10 sellers that I talk to, they're gonna say no to me. I, I just expect it. Like when I go into it, you know, I know that nine out of 10 of them are gonna say no to me. And that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna close the nine deals. That means I'm gonna close out of those nine deals, four or five of them, maybe more, depending on the seller's situation and my motivation. Because the first one, the 10 out of 10, one of them are gonna say yes, the other nine are gonna say no, and that's totally normal. Which brings me to point number three. The harsh reality is that follow up, follow up, follow up. Because most people, this is what happens to them. As an investor or as an agent, they don't have a lot of leads. One person calls, they do a listing presentation or they give a cash offer. The seller says no, and they say, oh, okay. And they, and they feel really bad, and now they wanna go home, okay? Um, and which is normal because when we have jobs, you know, no means no. But if you want to be a dream, 
No does not mean no. No means that you have to regroup, you have to flank, you have to figure another way to get to your goal. No does not mean like no. And that's one of the hardest things that most agents and real estate investors have because they're coming from the E quadrant in Rich Dad Poor Dad where they had jobs. So the first time they hear a no, they throw their hand up. Or maybe the second time they hear a no, they throw their hand up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as a refugee to America, I've heard a lot of no's. When I try to start my business living out of my car out of college, I heard a lot of no's. Uh, once I started to get into real estate in the 2006 fourth quarter, 2007, when the market had started to melt, bankers were telling me no, okay? And that's why I created my own systems of buying houses for motivated sellers versus borrowing money from banks, okay? Um, so there's a lot of no's. Um, and if I just took the no, then I would have a job. And the reason I don't have a job, the reason I'm able to chase my heart, the reason I'm able to manifest something out of my brain, the reason I do this for you guys so you can manifest what's in your heart, what's in your brain, is because you gotta be able to take no and, 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 and continue forward. And the way you continue forward is through follow-up, 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 follow-up. And a lot of new investors um, or even seasoned investors or seasoned real estate agents, don't they fail that the harsh reality is that they don't succeed because they don't have a follow-up when people say no. People are gonna say no to you all the time, but what are you gonna do with it afterwards? Is there a series of follow-ups do you send to them? Are you sending them postcards months down, years down the line? Are you following up through email funnels? Now, if you don't have email funnels, go to my real estate dojo. I have them, you can get them right now for like 97 bucks. It goes out like two or three years when people come in your funnel. It's copywritten. All you gotta do is just put it into your AWeber or MailChimp, okay? Pretty simple. If you don't have postcards, if you don't know what to send out, well, download my stuff. It's just like 97 bucks, guys. You get like all types of audiences in my postcard machine where people that are divorced, you send them a, a set of postcards. If people are behind on payments, you send them a, a different set of letters, okay? So we have targeted audience. So your marketing is targeted to their specific motivation. If you don't have these follow-ups, then you can spend thousands of dollars having someone professionally copyrighted for you, and hopefully they know what they're doing. Or you can spend hours and hours developing yourself, or you could not have it and not do deals, or you can spend like 97 bucks or 100 bucks and download two years of follow-up in emails, two years of, you know, postcards for different targeted audience behind divorces, death in the family, etc. okay? At my real estate dojo, guys, I'm having the biggest sell of the century. Um, so, to summarize it up, the three harshest realities for real estate investors and agents is that no, 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 and that does not mean that you put your tail between your leg and you run home. Follow up, right? Follow up, follow up, because majority of people say no. And if you don't have a follow up in place, then it's gonna kill you. And last but not least, if you don't have leads, if you don't have leads and you're not talking to anyone, no one's telling you no and there's no one to follow up. And if you don't have leads, you don't have nutrition in your body, in your cells, which means you're gonna go bankrupt. And these are the most important things that I just said. Some of them are physical, some of them are mental, right? Like not taking no for an answer, okay? Some of them are having systems, like having the follow-ups, okay? And some of them are action-wise, where if you don't take action to generate leads, like some people say, well, Mike, how do I generate leads? Well, I have 39 ways for you to generate leads of motivated sellers, doesn't matter if you're a real estate agent or if you're an investor, for almost for free or, or almost for free. What that means is out of the 39 ways, many of them are for free. Some of them may require a couple of bucks, but none of them cost a lot of money. And you can download that right now on My Real Estate Dojo for just $19. It's like the 39 uh, marketing boot camp, okay? For just 19 bucks. In that, you also get your ads. Like I show you how to place ads on Craigslist, Facebook, etc. I give you the ads for buyers. I give you ads for sellers. I give you, you know, postcards. I give you some email funnels. 
Um, so make sure you go download it because not only do I give you the content of the material things that you can use, um, like I give you mobile marketing messages. All you gotta do is copy and paste it and put your phone number and your website in there, that's it. But I also give you the video training where I teach you 39 ways that I generate business for free, okay? Or almost for free, so you have nothing to lose. All right, guys, if you got some value, show me some love and click the like button. Share this message and let me know what you need help with below. What do you need help with? You know, Do you need help finding sellers? Do you need funding? Do you need help to structure deals? What do you need help with? Because I want to do these videos for you. I do this for you guys. So let me know what you need help with below and I'll do a video for you. Much love. Peace.